Hydration is key to any of these these projects, but it's going to be really interesting. In Israel, obviously, doing double the amount of distances, it means they've got to take on a lot of fluid. Um, it's a very dry, arid land. Um, I think find, finding water is going to be uh, quite, uh, quite quite a key as well. Um, but because of that reason, I have to carry more fluid than than I've ever carried before. My fluid intake sort of changes from day to day. I often I go a lot by how I how I feel. Um, if I'm particularly thirsty, then I'll drink a lot. Um, I don't necessarily have key locations where I might fill up with water. I always make sure I've got a lot of water on board, um, but I'm happy to fill up from any stream or creek I might happen to, to come across if, if I need water. Um, but yeah, I sort of sip quite a bit throughout the day. But again, I'm not, I just, it, I really am, I really go based on how I'm feeling. I think you always know you're getting into a bit of a danger zone when you, when you become really dry in the mouth and perhaps you're not sweating as much as you, you do normally. Um, I go by how much I'm sweating and, and what I'm feeling like, you know, inside the mouth. Um, also know I'm getting quite dehydrated when my eyes start to go, go dry. I'm a contact lens wearer, so in, in, I know instantly when my eyes are, eyes are getting dry and generally it's due to, you know, lack of, lack of fluid. Look, I've been using Source products for a long time, way before they came on as a major sponsor to this, this project. Um, I just like the great quality. I mean, I'm just using this Spinner Price Robe bag at the moment, and uh, look, this is what I've been using for a long time in all of my, all of my projects. And it's just great. It's got a lot, a lot of space for all the gear I need, I need to take with me, and it also holds a three liter bladder. So, um, you know, that's, that's a key when I'm out there. I had this pack, this is only my second pack, and 11,000 kilometers. So obviously, running the distances I do, I need to be able to rely on a backpack that can also carry a lot, a lot of gear. Um, there's a lot of food I need, I need to carry, emergency equipment, ex ex extra clothing, the list go goes on. Um, a typical day on the trail for me in Israel is gonna be very early start. So I think it's key to try and beat the heat uh, and try and knock as many kilometers off before the sun comes up. So it might be a little bit of night running involved. Um, and then just a case of moving throughout the day, you know, it doesn't always have to be at a, at a fast pace, sometimes it's gonna have to be a walk. But as long as I'm all continually moving forward, um, I'm hoping to meet my, my support team quite a fair bit along the way and, and have some more solid fuel, um, not just sports nutrition, which, I've, which I've, before I've always sort of relied on quite heavily. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing my team and, and sort of being re-energized if I'm not sleeping, then I should be moving, and that's something that's very different in this particular project. Yeah, I've got an interesting team for this particular project. It's, uh, look, my partner Vicky is always there, and, uh, and she is the manager, if you like. Um, you know, and it's great because I can rely on her whole, wholeheartedly, and uh, she cooks some amazing food too, which always helps. Uh, but uh, in Israel, on the ground there, we're gonna have a driver uh, he, uh, he knows the trail quite well. He, um, he takes tours on, on the trail. He knows where there's, there's access, where probably officially, officially there isn't access. Um, and we're also gonna have a chemical on the ground, which is gonna be something new for me. So um, depending on how I'm feeling, I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna go with the camera stuffed in my face.